Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Adeptus Titanicus the Horus Heresy. That's just what this box set is called. They couldn't create a decent name to call this box. Uh, they haven't called it uh, the Starter Box Set or the Grand Master Edition or just the Master Edition. They couldn't find a name. But I need your help to try and push the views of this unboxing way past the Warhammer TV's official unboxing of this kit. So far it's had 17,500 views and that was the 8th of February. It's a week later, come on guys, I really need your help to uh, push this uh, unboxing past the 17,000. If it would get more views than the official channel, then that would really show Games Workshop that YouTubers and influencers that buy these products and unbox them have a significant place in social media. So please promote this video where you can and get as many people viewing it as possible. That would really help the channel out and it would send a strong message to Games Workshop. As always, you can buy this set from Element Games. Instead of it costing you £90, you can actually pick it up for £72. So whopping £18 saving. I think it's incredible. It includes two Reaver Titans, two Warhounds and two Serastus Knights. Now the Reaver Titans themselves are 35 pounds each. There's no question, you you know, if you haven't got these models already, even if you have, or if you want to grow your maniple, then the value is here. Let's unbox it uh, and we'll, we'll have a good look at all the contents. Here it is. Oh, we've also got a cheeky, cheeky little Warbringer Nemesis Titan in there too. I'll be unboxing that and showing you that tomorrow. So stay tuned to the channel uh, for the official unboxing for that. And we finally have the Gene Stealer Colts Kelimorph. I've wanted this model for a long time, ever since it came out with that set. I didn't want to buy all the other things in, in the set that it came with. Now we get to finally buy it separately. It is still a shame though that uh, Games Workshop don't have some of these uh, like unique looking miniatures separately at the time of them being available in box sets. Uh, much like Jane's are and Raz are, if there are people waiting for them, they're going to have to get them uh, in other ways uh, other than the big box set um, you know the Blood of the Phoenix set until they're released separately so let's take this out oh look at this absolutely incredible 90 pounds of pure goodness you've got the Reaver Titan there you've got the Warhound Titan You've got some Serastus Knights. In my opinion, this should have been the starter set. They should have had this alongside the Grandmaster Edition. They shouldn't just have had that Grandmaster Edition. But I guess for whatever reason, the Warhounds weren't finished then and neither were the Reavers. Um, and now, finally, after you know a year and a half or so, uh, it's, it's here. So let's just unwrap this. have a look at the reverse of the box so there you go there are your two forces uh, Warhound Titan Serastus Knight Reaver Titan another Reaver Titan Serastus Knight and a Warhound and then you get the, the rule book some markers uh, some objective markers um, range finder uh, some sheets some terminals um, there you go it says uh, battlefield assets uh, some dice, so some nice Adeptus Titanicus dice, for 24 mission and stratagem cards and 16 Titan weapon cards. So it's fully packed, you know, for your 90 pounds. It is very fully packed. Here, you've got some assembly constructions on the side of the box, which is interesting. Uh, I would have thought that they'd have them, you know, but they're, they're very easy to put together. What, literally like two, two three pieces, aren't they? And um, so these are, the sprues, uh, straight away I can see that this is a, a Reaver Titan sprue and uh, you've got the carapace there, different um, versions really, that's that's just like my my uh, Titan, you've also got the Horus Heresy Traitor Legion markings on the armour, you've got the little knee, knee joints, 
Um, yeah, fantastic. Oh, here we go. So right here, you've got the uh, Volcano Cannon, um, Melter Cannon, Turbo Lasers, Chain Fist. Come on, two sprues. I think this is the third sprue. So I'm thinking you get it on three sprues because they're the two feet. So that's basically a Reaver Titan. Uh, this here looks to me as another Reaver Titan. And yeah, the, the, there's the, the fist. Uh, oh, and the uh, missile launcher as well. So we'll have a look at the sprues in, in a moment. And then you've got Warhound sprue. Um, you're getting both Warhounds on two sprues. We'll have a look at those in a moment. And then you're getting uh, a weapon sprue for the Warhounds too. So actually three sprues there. So three sprues for the Warhounds, that's interesting. So three sprues for the Warhounds. Uh, you've got three each for the Reavers, and then you've got one for the Serastus Knights. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, you've got the Lance there for both of them. You've got the shields. Loads and loads of details. Yeah going to be a joy to put together um, and then you've got these objective markers and the, uh, the firing arcs look at these little tokens lovely lovely little tokens and these as well these are fantastic I really like this this warlord titan head um, brilliant oh you've got some missiles too so that's the kind of scenery and objective markers and then there's your uh, blast templates nice blue You've got this divider, which can double up as a piece of artwork. It doesn't look like it's damaged at all. I kind of wish that they put it in that way, though. That would have been nice. And then, yeah, you've got all the, the different upgrades. So you've got the Porphyrian, which I will be getting on the channel, so stay tuned uh, for them. Uh, obviously, the Warbringer, I've got one of those, so I'll unbox that in a moment. And then you've got various, uh, you know, campaign books. You've got some different... Uh, scenery pieces i would have liked them to have advertised the new scenery pieces as well like the cranes and things i didn't get that if you'd like to see the scenery pieces please do put it in the uh, comments below and i'll try my best to get them uh, and then you've got the dice 20 dice there alongside uh, one of these d10s and then you've got weapon head body dice uh, yeah fantastic I love the colouring as well for them. Beautiful. You got these stratagems. Might as well open these. Change to a smaller knife. So you've got thermal mines. Got sabotage, hold the line, range support. Yeah, many, many, many stratagems but also mission objectives too so really decent pack of cards there you've got smaller cards these are the uh, core game weapon card packs so you've got weapon disabled and then you've got inferno gun and so on reaver titan power fist all those little weapon and then you've got these, which I think are the Reaver Titan bases. You've got all the kinds of bases here. I think these are the Reavers. I think these are the Warhounds. Uh, I think these are the Serastus Knights, clearly. Now uh, you get all of these, including the rule book. Ah, that's interesting. So yeah, it's not a hardback rule book like the Grandmaster Edition is. So, hmm, all right, still. And you get these, which is the construction booklet, which we'll be going over. There you go, Reaver Titan, Warhound Titan, and Serastus Knights. It's not full colour, it's just in black and white, but it does the job. 
They look lovely. You know, you've got options there for magnetizing. Lovely, excellent. And then you've got these, which are round summaries and orders. I've got two of those, they look exactly the same. One each, I guess. Got a load of transfers. Serastis Knight, Warhound, and Reaver. So all, all different there. They're all either black or white. And then this uh, range ruler, 12 inches there. And that is it. That's everything in the box. It's completely unboxed. Um, let's just have a look at this rule book and things. Yeah, I don't know why I've gone back to the massive knife, but I have. So in here, we get these, which are the command terminals, I think. So you've got two Warhounds and two Reavers. And you've also got two Serastus Knights as well. So all of the Titans and the Knights that are in the box, you've got those, fantastic. And then you get the rule book, softback rule book. It'll be exactly the same as the hardback, uh, I would think. But in the review, I'll obviously compare it um, fully, but I think it is, yeah, 96 pages. It looks to me like it's exactly the same. Um, plenty of rules there for everything. And if you want to um, add more to the game, there are all the uh, the other hardback uh, supplement books too. So there you go. That's uh, everything in the um, Adeptus Titanicus Horus Heresy box set. It's not called a name or anything. It just says Adeptus Titanicus on it. Uh, I think it's a way, way better box set than the you know, 175 pound or so uh, Grandmaster edition. It's reasonably priced, I believe, at 90 pounds. I think that's decent, considering two Reavers in here are 70 pounds uh, for, for the pair. So for 20 pounds more, you're getting two Warhounds, two Serastus, and the rule book and, and all the other um, bits and bobs, uh, which I think is, is very, very good. This is what they should have had to start with. And they should have had the Grandmaster edition and they should have had this um, as two, two separate editions. Um, people would have still bought two. People probably would have still bought the Grandmaster edition and this edition, I would have expected. Anyway, what do you guys think of this kit? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.